In this video, I'm going to solve this question. Before I start solving this question, I would like to tell you that if you need a list of questions related to probability with step-by-step -step solutions, then you may have a look at the link provided in the description below. All that said, let's get started with this question. Consider randomly selecting a student at a certain university and let A denote the event that the selected individual has a Visa credit card and B be the analogous event for a MasterCard. Suppose that probability of the event A is equal to 0.5, probability of event B is equal to 0.4 and probability of A intersection B is equal to 0.25. In part A, we have to compute the probability that the selected individual has at least one of the two types of cards. So that means in part A, we have to calculate the probability of the event A union B. Well, this is quite straightforward. We can directly use the formula to calculate the probability of the event A union B. We know that the probability of the event A union B is equal to probability of the event A plus probability of the event B minus the probability of the event A intersection B. And we are given that probability of A is 0.5, probability of B is 0.4 and probability of A intersection B is 0.25. Solving this, we get 0.65. So the probability that the selected individual has at least one of the two types of cards is equal to 0.65. Let's move to part B now. In part B, we have to calculate the probability that the selected individual has neither type of card. Well, so that means we have to calculate the probability of the event A complement intersection B complement. Now we can use the De Morgan's law to calculate the probability of this event. So according to De Morgan's law, the event A complement intersection B complement is equal to a union B complement. So that means we can write the probability of A complement intersection B complement is equal to the probability of the event A union B complement. And we know that the probability of A union B complement is equal to 1 minus probability A union B. And we have calculated the probability of the event A union B in part A. The probability is equal to 0.65. So this implies that the probability of the event A complement intersection B complement is equal to 0.35. So that means the probability that the selected individual has neither type of card is 0.35. Now let's move to part C. In part C, we have to calculate the probability of the event that the selected student has a visa card, but not a master card. So that means the event A should happen, but the event B should not happen. So to calculate this probability, we have to calculate the probability of the event A intersection B complement. Well, finding the probability of this event is not that straightforward. So let us represent this event in a Venn diagram to see how can we find the probability of this event. As you can see in this Venn diagram, the event A intersection B complement can be represented by this shaded region. So now it should be clear from this Venn diagram that to calculate the probability of the event A intersection B complement, we have to subtract the probability of the event A intersection B from the probability of the event A. So the probability of the event A intersection B complement is equal to the probability of the event A minus the probability of the event A intersection B. And we are given both these probabilities. So this is equal to 0 0.5 minus 0.25. So the final answer is 0.25. So the probability that the selected student has a visa card but not a MasterCard is equal to 0.25. And this is all for this question.